Hold on. Of course, I gotta have cars going by. And the first time I've done YouTube in God knows how long. Anyways, what is cracking, people? I am back for now. I will try and keep up with um, keeping up more videos. I know it's been a minute. Life has happened. Quite a few things have happened. There is a new garden space. It's not as large as the last one. Uh, but I figured it was about time to get you guys in here and show you what I've been doing. You can probably kind of see it behind me. Um, I'm using my uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. I did, I think, like a video or two uh, just for Instagram uh, stories. I don't think I've actually shot a YouTube video on this. Um, but my iPhone 8 worked fine, so um, I think this should be fine too. Anyways, I have an external mic hooked up. I will put the link to that in below. Um, if the sound sucks, let me know. If it's fantastic, let me know. Let me know whatever. Um, but let's take you on a quick tour. I'm going to show you what's going on. No, obviously I didn't do a video on this as to how it was installed. I just wanted to get it in, but it's very basic, it's very simple. All the products, like always, will be down in the description below. I will give you links. Uh, if there's a code available for a discount of some sort, I will give that to you too. Yes, there will be affiliate links, and so yes, I will be making some ch some chump change on that just to help this channel stay float. Um, but without further ado, let's go. Oh, I just figured something out. You, um, we've got three lenses on this phone, and depending on which lens you want to use, you have to select that before you actually start filming. Because it's not going to, well, it will let you do it. Ooh, check me out. Oh, see, but it goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Okay. Anybody remember Cloverfield? Am I dating myself? Anyways. <laughs> all right. So we start off, obviously, with the gate. Some soil. I may do a um, music over this just to, you know, make it seem all cinematic and stuff, but I don't know. I probably won't, knowing me. Looks like the dog has gotten in here. He, I don't know if the plant fell over, if he knocked it over, but I see the small just piled up, so he might have gotten in here. Anyways, we start with the basil. This is just in your standard container. We have... Can you even see it in there? We have a growy in there. You can barely see it. Right... Where's my finger? There. But anyways, um, some kind of basil. I don't know what kind. I can't think right now. But anyways, um, we have the birdies raised beds in Slate Gray, just like I did the previous garden, except this time it's eight of them. Um, it's just your basic bag soil mix. There's nothing fancy in them. Yes, I tried to do permaculture style on these beds. These are the 15 inch height beds. I was thinking of doing the 30 inch uh, for twice the height, just for back. Uh, so I don't have to bend over as much. Um, Price was a little too much more. It doesn't seem like too much more, but when you're buying eight of them, it, it's a big difference. Not only that I would have spent twice the amount on soil, and yes, you can still do permaculture on that, and I would actually recommend it, but I just didn't want to go through the hassle. Like I said a minute ago, or a second ago, whatever ago, um, I just wanted to get the garden in. Uh, so I went ahead and I have eight raised beds. These are the birdies beds, uh, the Australian beds. Um, sold by Kevin over at Epic Gardening. Yes, the link will be below. Of course, the link, or sorry, the code is Green Zebra. It'll get you a nice discount. It'll get you five percent off. And check it out, garden tour. And I'm already picking food. This is a burpless cucumber. I found out from a friend over on IG, Iram. It's time to garden. I will probably link her below as well. Uh, I told her that the cucumbers. I don't like to eat cucumbers because they provide gas. She suggested burpless. That's what that means apparently. These are fantastic. This is actually the second one I picked. And the first one is phenomenal. If I remember, I will put a foot in here somewhere of it. It's sliced up. Anyways, we have tomatoes in this bed. We have cucumbers. And of course we have marigolds. Um, the lovely bright Home Depot buckets were converted into uh, self-wicking barrels or self-wicking containers by simply using the GrowTech garden system. Actually, let me show you real quick. Let me show you what it looks like because I have to reset one. It's been sitting over here. So these guys, yes, the link will be below. Um, I will also put my uh, beacons link basically like your link tree and it'll give you all the individual product links for all these But I'll do the listing of the links themselves. Anyways, this is your standard five gallon grow bucket 
the kit or the system rather is really oh because i pulled it out is really just these pieces here the green flag thing is for you to know how high the level is really all it is what is it you drill the hole here you drop it in make sure that that spot right there where the green tube is lines up with the hole fill it up with soil plant them out and watch it grow uh, i know this isn't a chia pet but it kind of feels that way um and i yes i do need to fill these up because these are so low if i had more water in them if i had water in them they'd be up higher um but anyways and so then you just fill with water until it comes outside just like any standard wicking container um but anyways that's one bed i got um the company was gracious enough to send me out a pack of three i like the idea so much i bought a pack of 10 on amazon uh they come out to about ten dollars a kit uh, but then you also got to get the buckets you don't have to go with the home depot buckets you can check your local resources maybe pick up some free buckets somewhere um but and some people don't like the bright orange if you want to go to lowe's and get the blue ones that's fine it doesn't matter it's just a standard five gallon bucket all right in our next bed we have watermelons that's going to be our big crop in this one again all birdies raised beds we have the groyas in there these are mediums the beds themselves are made to the longest possible uh, option i guess with just the corner pieces the rounded corner pieces here on the end and then you have the three panels on either side of course that way they're even um but that's as long as they go they are just a hair i want to say over five feet the trellis system here is the thriving design sea bites we have some of the thicker green stakes uh the sea bites are not big enough for those so i zip tie them but then the smaller five inch stakes fit perfectly on those there's also some gr lime green ones for the smaller stakes and basically just built the trellis wall then we have the verticals in front here that help support it and of course we have some marigolds uh the tomatoes they're all really the same variety i bought a bunch of siberian tomatoes i believe they were um determinate so they're not going to get very big i did buy a container with some um paul robeson tomatoes but they got mixed in so i don't know which they are although i have an idea just based on the shape but the siberian tomatoes they i believe only get up to 18 inches tall and so they're and so I, I put on determinate just because it was towards the end of the season because that's the other thing i only put this garden in a few months ago um but this is our first watermelon here um i'm trying to find oh look we have bugs uh, i'm trying to find the tendril on this one so it'll show me if i can pick it oh there's the tendril it's oh sorry still kind of green not quite dry you gotta wait for it to dry um and normally the other thing is you want to see the yellow spot from where the watermelons laying on the soil it's not laying on the soil it's hanging uh these are sugar baby watermelons you technically want to um hang these up and support these you can either use old pantyhose you can get some netting bags you can get all kinds of stuff to hang them on um but these are sugar babies so i don't think i'm really gonna have any issue these are just small watermelons and honestly if they were gonna be that big i probably would have let them roam all over the garden um i think that's really it in that bed yes these beds all have drip system running through them as well the containers the black containers basically anything that's not a home depot bucket uh has a sprinkler in it right here and yes i did do a poll over on my instagram account if you're not following me go follow me there uh just green zebra gardening um about people wanting to know just get an overview on my drip system i may do that today i may shoot it tomorrow or later this week um i don't know just depends on how my workflow goes because i got a new computer set up i have a new imac mini um or not imac mini mac mini with the m1 processor um, and so it should be pretty well uh, pretty well set up to do that I do have Phil Morris so I'm gonna be editing on that I bought the license it's the same program I'd been using on the PC on the laptop but um, I've got a whole new setup now with 
two 27-inch uh, monitors, and so it'll be much easier. Anyways, bed number three, we have cantaloupes. Let's see if we can get these. These are, I believe, Hale's Best or Hale's Best Jumbo. Um, also on the same type of trellis with the sea bites. Basically, just made a grid, stuck it in. Oh, one of the other beds over there is. Uh, doesn't have plants on it so you'll see better and then I just added the cross pieces here they go from the front of the bed and straight up to give it that extra support because if you don't and you wiggle it it would be pretty shaky these are pretty sturdy just because of that and we do have some zinnias in here these are pretty it was good being back on camera anyways um, shooting videos again so we have some peppers we have bell peppers uh, I'm not gonna lie I don't know what most of these are this is a bell pepper either a Yankee or a California wonder we have a baby eggplant a patio baby eggplant these don't get that big we have some fish peppers wow these are so pretty but they're hot this is another wine barrel just like that basil we saw in the beginning and this sucker is loaded with uh, I think it's only like three plants that I put in here for marigold and it has just exploded there's kale back here it's not doing that good it may have bolted um, but the but the marigolds are doing fantastic yes we have a grow in here and yes I do have a drip line going around it it is all on a drip system so it makes life a whole lot easier those flowers smell amazing anyways we have more peppers um, this might be a jalapeno. I'm not sure, but they're kind of round, so I'm not quite sure. I, everything just got kind of mixed up. Alright, on to bed number four. We have a, I think, a lemon tree here. Uh, depending on how it does, I may take it out. I don't know. The sun comes in from over there in the mornings. It goes this way, and then basically it hits... That's a nice view. It gets the sun from that way towards me, towards the camera, every day basically for the entire day. Except for really that side. That side really stays um, kind of shady. It gets the morning sun from behind the camera. Um, and so it gets that. Those are all succulents. A lot of aloes uh, that my mom plants. Uh, so that's what those are. We put together some shelves just to get them off the ground and fit more plants. Because, you know, we are, we're always looking for more... Uh, more plant space anyways so here we have bed number four we got a bunch of tomatoes so on these I put the tomatoes basically all around the edge um, we do have a marigold in the middle I do really do need to put some stakes in here I really didn't do much of them or much of it rather because they were all uh, the Siberian tomato and so it should be a determinate variety and so they're not really gonna get that big I know this plant looks like crap but I'm really just waiting for this tomato to fully ripen. Uh, I might check on that tomorrow because I think it's going to be about ready. Um, this is a jalapeno. I don't know if it's a regular jalapeno. It could be an early jalapeno, but they're kind of round. That's what's weird. Um, anyways, right back real quick. We've got lots of tomatoes I can see in here. I do need to stick these up. I'm wondering if these are the Paul Robeson just because they're already so big. They've been in the ground, I think, for a couple months now. Um, here is another pepper. Again, it's the bright orange bucket, so it's the grow tech systems. I really do like them. Um, I'm not just saying that because they sent me a three free pack. Um, I honestly probably, if I didn't have that much faith in them, uh, I wouldn't have bought a 10 pack, and that's what I did. So I bought a 10 pack just because I love the idea so much. And yes, you can make them um, yourself. There are videos and there are things online where you can do it yourself, but this just makes it a whole lot easier. I showed you the system, it's pretty cool. Um, and it's pretty easy. It takes all of like maybe 10 minutes to set one up if even that. Um, and honestly the hardest part was just really drilling the hole in. And basically just filling in with soil and filling in with plant. But anyways, he, these are some peppers. They're either Oda or Violet Sparkle. These came, the seeds came from Karma Bell Farm from Lisa over on IG. Uh, she has, um, at the time of recording, she had some seeds up for sale. They she just restocked by the time this video goes up which may be within, I'd say, by the end of the week. Uh, she may not, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and link her down below. These are really pretty. She's always posting a very pretty produce, especially peppers and tomatoes. Um, but anyways, on to the next one. 
All right, here we are on bed number, I believe, five. Here's another pepper. I believe this is the Oda, O-D-A, also from Lisa Carmel. Um, so we have the sprinkler head in here that comes off of the main line. I do have Groya in here because that's originally how I'd had this set up. But um, life is so always so busy. I can't always get in here. And this is a small Oya. Oh yeah. So it's not really going to hold a whole ton of, a whole lot of water. And so I wanted to be able to make sure that it was getting enough water. Once we did that, we started getting a lot more production out of them. Although this pepper plant, these peppers this year have been insane. I don't know if it's a location. I'm going to attribute it to that and just the very basic container or the orange buckets, you know, with the with the uh, grow kit, the grow tech garden kits in them to make them into the, you know, the self watering. But anyways, um, they're doing really well. Yeah, they kind of look beat up, but they've been through some stuff. They've been through a move. Anyways, um, on this bed, this is bed number, where are we? One, two, three, four, we're gonna say five. Um, this is the corn that was in here, and then the Nenax bed. We harvested the corn. It did okay, it was a little stunted, because I kind of, you know, I just planted a bunch of stuff, old seed to see what would germinate. I ended up putting them in here. The corn didn't make it inside, you know, kids and I ate it out here. We do have a lovely uh, marigold plant. Uh, I did put the corn plants on top of here, one to dry. I don't want to be filling up the garbage can um, with just corn plants that I can compost or shred or, you know, use as mulch basically. And that's really what it's doing right now. It's covering the soil. I want to get this cleaned up. Water it in, maybe add some nutrients because corn is a heavy feeder. And I am thinking of putting some peas in here for the upcoming winter, fall slash winter, colder or cooler summer basically is what we call it in SoCal because we're always so dang warm. Um, I just, every time I look at these beds, they're gorgeous. I just love the slate gray and they go with that wall. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, an, I'm, a little, I'm a little infatuated with these beds, they're beautiful. But anyways, um, in front of this one we have a grow bag. I want to say is this spring pots? These are some F1 uh, Primero Habanero peppers from Territorial Seed Company. They sent me out a bunch of seeds. So thank you Territorial. Um, they've been doing amazing. I may insert some photos in here. Uh, this is basically just the tail end of it. Uh, I did a big harvest uh, this last weekend. And so I'm going to have somebody, I'm going to have a local chef, a friend. She's going to make some habanero salsa. She's going to keep some of it for her troubles. And then I'm probably going to swap it out with somebody or give it to somebody and trade for something. Because I don't do spicy. Even though I like growing spicy peppers. Um, but that's pretty much it on this bed. I try and keep maybe between th two to four containers in front of the raised beds. Just to give me that extra uh, growing space. Because I still think a lot of people and it annoys the crap out of me that they say... I don't have enough space. Uh, yeah, I mean, the space is not that big. I'd say five by seven, so about 35, maybe 40 feet long. Uh, not including the space I had to leave in between here, of the last bed and the door so the door can open. I mean, that's a lot of food you're growing. Not only that, I'm putting in a ton of containers. The original idea was to put another, you know, five or six beds on this side. Um, but we realized that it really wasn't going to be worth it just because of the... One, the cost, and two, it doesn't get a ton of sun. Yeah, I could have grown, grown a lot of greens and a lot of stuff that prefers shade, but um, it wasn't going to be all that great. It just wasn't worth it. And we have so many containers and so many plants, we didn't want to pot up and, you know, go through all that. Anyways, real quick, roses. These are really pretty. We have a milkweed. I don't know variety. I think it's a tropical. My mom gets really excited when we get the tropical, uh, sorry, when we get the... Uh, when we get the monarch butterflies, the caterpillars, anyways. Alright, that's how go to the next bed. Alright, here is bed number six, and this buddy is loaded with uh, tomatoes. I mean, this sucker is just loaded. I was thinking these were the Paul Robesons just because they were tall, and just because of the shape. I think it was like two to three, maybe two to four plants per cup. They're like three inch cups. I bought a flat of them basically. They were, yeah, they weren't cheap, but it got me um, a ton of plants. And 
uh, once the corn was out, I still had plenty of time and the weather here is usually sunny. It's usually pretty good year round. And I figured it's a determinate crop and so it's only gonna be two or three months. And so sometimes we don't even, I mean, we rarely get a frost, but we don't always um, get a killing frost. I mean, it might cool down to, you know, 50s at night barely it's between 50 to 60 at night and so we can still technically let them live i just don't know that they're going to make it that far just because of uh they're already putting out all this growth but anyways here's another one of the habanero plants that i just showed you um and it doesn't and it shows you that you really don't need anything fancy this one is growing in just a regular basic container the other one is a grow bag and it's still a decent size uh the other one looks a little bushier I don't know if it was because of the plant itself uh, or something that I did to this particular plant or that particular plant or if it's what it's growing in or maybe it sat out in the cold too long for a night or something and it stunted it. I don't know. But they're still producing loads of peppers. Um, but anyways, I think... Let me move the sunflower. Yes, we'll get to the sunflowers in a second, guys. I want to say these are serrano peppers. Again, in the self-watering buckets. This is a grow bag, I believe it's a spring pots, just because I see the the orange thread, or sorry, the basically the embroidery on the end. Uh, we have some zinnias in that one. That one does have a sprayer on it. Check these out. Zinnias grow so easily, um, and they're gorgeous. I did mix in some kale down there, but the kale here is not doing all that hot. Yes, I bought them all at start, so I bought the kale and the tomatoes and the flowers the um marigolds i bought those all at starts and they have been doing really well actually especially once i put in the drip system because again i wasn't able to get out here every day or every other day to refill the oyas excuse me the oyas are just an extra insurance or just extra insurance to make sure that my plants are getting enough water although once you get your um watering system uh like dialed in should be good all right let's go to the last bit along the wall bed number seven all right so here's bed number seven again this one has tomatoes i basically went all the way around the edge although i think in the front of this one right here we have a bunch of marigolds but all along the back um i do have some grass growing in here already uh thankfully I can just pull them right out and they come out by the root basically and so that's the only issue with these this bed and maybe the one next to the one we just saw um, is that I just gotta keep up on it so then that way basically it doesn't go crazy all over the place inside these beds yes I am pulling as I'm speaking uh, but at least how we guys get a close-up of this pepper this pepper doesn't look all that good although it might just be that leaf uh, but this is the yellow bikino pepper I believe it's, it was a new variety to Baker Creek, not in general, but to Baker Creek last year or this year. So I've grown it. He puts out a ton of peppers. It's a lot. I think the seed packet in their website says per plant you should be getting, I want to say they said 100 peppers. They're cute. They're small. Um, they're supposed to have a little bit of a kick, but nothing too bad. They're supposed to be fruity. My mom loves them and she doesn't like spicy. She can handle a little bit of spice definitely more than me but anyways um this is actually the second or third cayenne pepper plant the bucket here um it's done really well it's producing really well this is actually my rock star my best uh that habanero pepper the primero habanero from um territorial um it's done really well it's in a regular basic container it does have a drip or a little spray it basically shoots out like a little shower um i may actually do that uh, to show you but anyways um that's really that bed i really should be deadheading these zinnias so the new ones come up but again been so busy and i just wanted to get it in i will try and get out here this weekend and clean it up um and get some stuff probably harvested and get the uh, and get the corn out and then maybe uh, plant some peas but i may wait on the peas just because I don't want them to die because it's going to get hotter. We usually get our hottest part of the summer in the end of September. So let's go on to the last bed, number eight.
Alright, before I show you that beauty, this container we just moved out here, this is a 30 gallon grow bag. There's nothing in it except for obviously the grow, yeah. Um, but I'm planning on putting, for the fall, uh, some peas here. And don't mind the dog, because the sun basically comes in from that way. It shoots this way, and so if I put it any further that way, it's going to block out the sun on this side, which is what I'm going to show you in the next bit here. So this guy is going to probably get planted up with peas, I'd say in probably like another month, maybe less. Uh, here's another 30-gallon grow bag. This is my mulch, which is actually this stuff here. Uh, it's not the mulch in the walkways. That I get for free from the city. Um, I just got to go pick it up at the, I guess, parking lot, basically. They just dump it out there. Um, but anyways, in this one, there's another 30 gallon grow bag. It's a five pack off of Amazon. I will link them below. I bought these because they're cheap. They're, they're decent. They're not bad. I like the handles. Um, it's like 20 bucks for like five of them. I only have three set up right now. Um, but this is just incredible to me. So we have a fish pepper. We have a Hungarian. Oh no, it's not a Hungarian. This is probably, this is a, maybe an Oda pepper. It's one of the ones from Lisa. Um, we have, I'm not, ooh, we have uh, we have some pods that set over here. I wanna say this is an habanero. This is beautiful. And again, it also has a drip system and there's a little sprayer in there as well. Uh, so basically we have three pepper plants and a tomato plant. Uh, again, because I'm not sure which tomatoes got planted where. I don't know if this is a Paul Robeson or if this is a, um, Determ determinate tomato but that's that anyways now to the actual bed we have some radishes we have some zinnias we have some kale um a pretty white zinnia it kind of looked like a strawberry flower for a second right uh there's some radishes in here this kale got eaten to bits um we have a small sunflower yes i know you guys are seeing them i will get to them in one second this is a zucchini plant. I planted I planted like five or six on this end. I, um, a lot of them, I think all of them actually came up, but I kept this one just because it was all the way furthest on the end. But I didn't realize that these guys would take up all the damn sun. Let's just enjoy that for a second. There you go. I mean, like, really. Oh, see, now I see who's making the mess over there. There's a dog. He probably peed or something. Anyways, so, yeah, I'll probably edit that out. But anyways, see if we can stand these up so I can show you. I put a massive stake in here, but I don't think it's really holding it. Just because it's just such a big one. There we go. That helps. But we have, this is a mix of sunflowers. This Siggy packet that was a mix of sunflowers. I think something ate my head here. Um... And it's just beautiful. It's been bringing in tons of bees. I got some pictures of bees all over them um, the other day, and I posted I think one or two over on Instagram in my on my main feed, and then I posted some on my um, in my stories. It might actually be the same photo, just posted multiple places. But anyways, this is from a seed pack. Uh, just sorry, obviously, it's from a seed mix of sunflowers, different sizes. Um, obviously, we have some big ones. I don't think these are mammoth because mammoth ones would be mammoth. They'd be huge the head to be bigger than my head than my head um, but I learned a lesson that because the Sun basically comes from that direction this way all day it shades out this entire bed so lesson learned all my tall stuff is gonna be basically on this end of the garden um, except for obviously I can do the peas along the wall because it'll be along the wall and so the stuff in front of it is still gonna get enough Sun I'm just gonna have them along the back uh, but that's how it is. It's my first, it's not even a full season because I didn't come in until, I guess it's almost a full season. I didn't come in until May and got this planted up in June. So it's only been going for a few months. Uh, so we'll say June, July, we're in middle of August, almost the end of August. So we're looking at about two and a half, three months. And so in those three months, um, we got a lot of stuff that actually is planted from seed. The sunflowers for one. Basically everything is bad except for the kale. And even that's looking like hell. Um, I 
these are all plants I actually started myself except for the tomato plant but the pepper plants I transplanted I had them in like some little dinky containers like that one I said you know what I've got these 30 gallon grow bags threw them in here and that way I can show you guys that you don't have to stick to like one plant per container especially one this size you can do multiple you can make it a salsa garden I'm thinking one of these is gonna be an herb garden um, but I did want to add flowers so that's why I said you know what let's throw some sunflowers in here let's see if it comes up if it doesn't come up whatever but anyways um, that's the majority of the garden I wasn't kidding when I said we have lots of aloes so if anybody is local in Long Beach hit me up yes we are selling these uh, we're thinking like 20 bucks a pop depending on size but we're trying to get them out mom's all about the succulents and all about the ornamentals although she's enjoyed um, what we've done with the space uh, because this was just straight dirt there was nothing really here except for the grass which I have to mulch because the grass is coming back with a vengeance I have to add more mulch these are my all the composting bins I, we filled them up I got some uh, spent mushroom substrates a week or two ago and so we filled them up um, let me show you here real quick we have the drip system I promise I will do a uh, drip system like overview like a generic one I will link to in that video I will link one that Kevin over at Epic Gardening did he uses um, it's basic gist is the same idea but he actually gets really into it and tells you the um, like mechanics of it and he tells you he gives you recommendations as to how much you should and shouldn't put on a drip line I've just gotten lucky because I don't know I've just done it and it works um, and my spaces haven't been that big anyways although my last actually no not my last garden the original garden I started where I learning everything um, I had one main line go all the way to the entire backyard and it was quite a few beds and the one main line did it fine no issues at all I don't think I had this many drippers because since then I have switched to doing these lines that have um, holes or drippers rather every nine inches and we do have the adjustable sprayers which I love because I can turn all the way up or turn all the way down so last you want let's leave this video with that and I will catch you guys on the next one Okay, so let's try this again. I already shot this, but apparently I didn't hit the on button or recording button. Anyways, if you're still here watching this, uh, just a question. Why? I mean, I appreciate it and all, but why? Anyways, um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, hopefully constructive criticism, if you have any, drop it in the comments below. Um, I try and get to all of them. I don't have a huge fan base. I think I'm at like four, maybe 500 subscribers at this point. But you can always drop them in. You can always follow me over on IG. Just same name, Green Zebra Gardening. I do have a TikTok, but I'm not going to lie. I don't use it very much for posting. I do a lot of watching. I've really gotten into watching. That sounds weird. I've watched a lot of TikTok. Um, almost as much as YouTube. And I watch a lot of YouTube. Anyways, all of the products and, you know, the beds, the containers... Um, I may even throw some seed companies down there. Um, they have, have some nice collections. Makes it easy for everybody. Um, and the, oh, the, uh, the lights just came on. The solar lights. So I'll give you a shot of that for the final exit. I promise it's the last one. Um, but go ahead and hit me up in the DMs. Hit me up in the comments. DMs on IG, by the way. Um, I usually post there a lot more, although I need to take some more photos to post more content and my feed I will try and keep it somewhat educational um, I at least try and teach you something I will go ahead and do the overview on the sprinkler system on the drip system it's just not going to be shot today like I planned because I talked to do much of this video and I rambled I'm out of practice I will check back the last time I did a video but I'm gonna say it's been shoot six months eight months I don't know it's been a minute um, if I remember, I may put it in here somewhere. 
uh, you know, giant flashing numbers or something. Because uh, when I'm editing this, uh, I can look that up and post it in here somewhere. Anyways, I'm trying to be all poetic and, you know, whatever, but it ain't happening. I'm tired. Actually, I had a shower, so I'm good. I need to go make some dinner. I'm going to have some... I don't know what I'm going to make. I might just go cheap and easy. Um, basically find whatever's in the fridge. Um, but let me leave you with the solar lights that I put into the garden. They're not necessarily the cheapest lights, but they're actually pretty worth it. Uh, yes, they were from Amazon like most things. Uh, but I will always try and get you directly to the vendor or the manufacturer's website just because I would rather you get it from there. Because at least that way the company is actually making more money rather than giving Amazon a massive, you know, a massive chunk of their money. But anyways, um, I just want Amazon makes it a whole lot easier since a lot of people have accounts there. But anyways, um, that's it.